Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm doing an original tag, I guess. So the idea from this came about during my uh, BookTube, Time for Books, BookTube Awards tag, which was also kind of an original tag, except I stole that from Time for Books. That's a different story, I'll link to that below. So in that, uh, I was talking about how Justin from Ghost Reader would make an awesome uh, history teacher. And then myself and Joe Smith, one of my subscribers, we were chatting in the comments, and then the long and the short of it is we figured it'd be cool to do a tag where you say like which booktubers you would most like to have as your teachers at school. So this is the booktube teachers tag. There are like nine questions and they're all like which booktuber would you most want to have as? So let's get started. So question one, maths teacher. So for this I've gone for time for books because I think she has a, the voice for it if that makes sense. I think I could like listen to her talk about pretty much any subject and maths is one of those subjects where you, you need someone who just doesn't have a boring voice, you know, you need to have somebody who you can sit there and quite happily listen to without them getting grating, without them being annoying or anything like that. And also I think with, you know, her attention to detail inside of all of her book journals and things like that and some of the statistics she keeps and stuff, I think uh, that shows a certain level of a mathematical mind. Okay, number two. A science teacher. So for this, I'm going for Final Blow Joe, because he's like he reads so much sci-fi. Like he does, um, he does a statistics video as well. Actually, he would also be a good maths teacher. He can substitute if time for books is, you know, off doing some trading or something like that. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, in one of his stats videos, he was going through like his most read publishers or the all the different publishers that he reads. And I think uh, Golangs, who are like sci-fi specialists. Or like 70% of his books or something like that. So um, Joe can teach not just the science of today, but the science of the future. That's what I believe. Uh, hopefully, anyway. I don't know. He, I don't know whether he's actually any good at science, but he reads a lot of sci-fi, so that's all, all you need. Number three, an English teacher. So for me, I'm going to go for Hannah Tay. And partly because if you look at things she's doing with her book club and the book club picks that she's picking, I think she'd be really good at picking out the books for, um, you know, what is it called? The syllabus? Is that is that the word? Yeah, she'd be good at picking out the books that, like, we'd read and that we'd study from. I think she'd make a good mixture of books that are interesting and fun to read, but also that are, like, really deep and have different themes that we can discuss as a class. I also can't imagine her making us read, like, one by one as we go around the room. If anything, I think she would read the book because she's done a few audiobook videos. And again, I think she's just, because she's quite quirky, she would bring the subject to life and, you know, make more people interested in reading. All right, question number four, a history teacher. Well, I was actually going to go for Ghost Reader here because he would be a really good history teacher. But uh, if not, we'll go for Triumphal Reads, especially because he knows a lot about, like, antiquities, like ancient Greeks and Rome and stuff like that, which for me is kind of the bit of history I'm most interested in. Although I do like the Second World War, I guess. I mean, I don't like it, obviously. It was awful, but I like learning about it. Question number five, a geography teacher. So I'm going to go for Todd the Librarian because... I feel as though he's he's seen a bit of the world and he's got stories, but also he's pretty well read. And I think, I mean, imagine field trips with Todd as well. That'd be awesome. Like we'd just go camping and he'd teach us survival and stuff and it would count as geography. So, and also again, he's just another person who I think can make pretty much any subject interesting. Question number six, a religious studies teacher. So I'm going to go for Charles Heathcote because he's been known to have the odd rant about religion as part of like his wall gathering videos. And even I think he's he's done it in reviews by accident. I don't know, he's been on BookTube for four years now. So I think, I think he's found various ways to do it. But also, I mean, he knows a lot about like Christianity, for example. He, I think he just doesn't particularly agree with it. I don't know, I don't want to put words into his mouth there. But it, it just means that when he rants about things, he can also get biblical. You get the two of them at the same time, which I think is good for a, a religious studies teacher. Yeah, why not? Okay, question number seven, a PE teacher. So I kind of struggled with this one. Um, but in the end, I went for Cam from Wolfshot Publishing because I think he'd let me get away with like, I don't know, playing badminton or something, or just not doing PE. 
I think he'd be quite an easy going PE teacher. I don't know I say that. Maybe he'd whip me into shape. Who knows? Question number eight. An IT teacher. So for this I'm going to go for Murphy Napier. And the reason being. If you watch like her and Daniel Green. And their little group of, uh, of world hoppers. <laughs> so she's been doing audiobooks recently. And been doing pretty well for herself with them as well I think. And um, she's been teaching Daniel Green how to do it and like being like here's all the equipment you need here's how you like rms normalize the files so that amazon will accept them and um well i mean it worked for daniel didn't it so i figure if she can teach him that stuff she can probably teach most people most stuff and also like if you look at her videos and stuff i mean i know i think her husband is a photographer so i think he kind of helped her out understanding i guess the basics of photography and videography and editing and all this stuff but, like, between them, they've got, like, video, sound, graphic design. Like, I'm sure they could probably do a little bit of cheeky web design. So, uh, yeah, I think, I, think, I think she'd be a good IT teacher. And, uh, finally, question number nine, a music teacher. So, I was going to go for, like, guitar book reviews or someone like that. Or, but then I thought Elliot Brooks, because I've seen her play violin. And, like, so isn't it? It's again her and her husband. They both play. She plays violin and he plays some other instrument. I'm not sure, but they like play in orchestras together. And I think one of them is classically trained and one of them is like a jazz musician. So again, I think that would make for a pretty good music teacher. I can't think of anybody who I've seen on BookTube who's like, who's like more musically talented, like from like a, an educational point of view as well, like. That's, that's pretty, like, I'm just self-taught, so I'd be, I'd be shit, I wouldn't be able to teach anyone. Alright, and then final bonus question, who do you tag? So I'm going to tag all of the booktubers who I would like to teach me things. Uh, I'm going to tag here uh, Louise Hill, and then I'm going to go into my comments. I'll tag Megan Hannett, Deanie, Sarah Hannett as well, uh, A.G. McDonald, Pickle Hearts Books, Steve Warman, Lattes and Mocking Jays, and Cats and Camera, and Bookish. <laughs> so there we have it. That is the BookTube Teachers Tag. As always, don't forget to let me know what you thought my answers in the comments. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more, and I will see you soon for another Bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.